So I'm Ursula Hamstedt from Bonn. Uh, I'm working in geometry. So mm -hmm. always on my entire life, I like shape, pattern, and the structure behind it. So I have to, f I'm contra in contrary to other people here, I'm afraid I never wanted to be a mathematician. And uh, then I became one, and I noticed, even although I didn't still wanted to not to be a mathematician, I was already one. And this was the most wonderful thing that ever happened to me in my life. So I really love to be a mathematician. And for the reason that, uh, I mean, some of them you have already heard, so I can do what is of interest to me, and I like shape, pattern, and structure. So I always try to understand the structure behind shapes and pattern, and try to sort of find the mathematical theory behind it, and try to find out what's going on and what's the global structure that is guiding it. And uh, so I can spend my time doing this, it's wonderful. I can work with young people, it's wonderful. I can interact with colleagues, it's wonderful. So mathematicians are wonderful people. So they uh, like to interact with each other, although they might be sort of maybe not, sometimes not the most communicative uh, people, but they still like to talk to each other, discuss mathematics, and have a good time. And so that's something that is, uh, something that is really, um, I think, very inspiring and wonderful. And I feel very pri privileged that I can be here and talk to you. So how did, I, how did it came that I became a mathematician? So I didn't want to be one, as I said, um, but I enrolled in mathematics for my studies anyway because I didn't know really what to do, what, what I wanted to do. So I was pretty good in mathematics in school, so I just enrolled in it. Then I didn't like it. I didn't like school. I didn't like my university. And then someone told me, you should go abroad. So why don't you apply for a fellowship? and go abroad and maybe, maybe you find something that interests you. So I applied for a fellowship, I applied for France, to Paris, I didn't speak any French, and, um, but I thought you shouldn't be afraid. So I wasn't afraid, I applied for the fellowship, I got it, and then I went to Paris and I found a fantastic uh, teacher there. So I didn't know what I was doing actually, so I found the most, uh, one of the most prestigious uh, geometers of, this, uh, of his time. And I was working with, started working with him. It was just wonderful. I didn't know what I was doing, but it was a wonderful experience. And then I was already absorbed in mathematics and geometry. And I could never leave this area anymore. So that was a fantastic experience. And um, again, so I, this was inspiration uh, by teachers. It was being, being able to do what I wanted, ever wanted to do and uh, not being afraid. And not being afraid, I think, is a very imp uh, important part of being a mathematician. You should not be afraid of the challenge in uh, solving a mathematical problem. If I'm afraid of uh, t trying to solve something, I will never achieve. So I have to sort of work very hard and try to understand what's going on. But maybe at the, event, at the end of the day, I will solve the problem, and I will understand what I wanted to understand. And this is some, something that is extremely rewarding. So it is it's just it's a very good um, way of leading your life. And uh, so that's the advice, of course, that I have for you. Don't be afraid and try to be guided by your, by your interests and your principles and uh, just carry on what you want to do and maybe you will succeed. And then uh, it is a lot of rewards is waiting for you. So that's all what I wanted to say.